Hi, it's Benson Simmons again, award-winning Canadian actor and acting teacher. And what you're watching will be, will be picking up the middle of an acting lesson where I'm inspiring my students across Canada and in L.A. to take risks and go out there and book those acting jobs. So we've got, again, reminding you guys, objective, then we've got the obstacle, and then we go to what's called a substitution. Again, everybody knows about substitution, but let's just sort of clarify. So you're in a situation, uh, say it's a husband and wife, and they're having a fight, and the objective is, I need you to love and support me, or I need you to love and validate something about me, say my career or my career choice or something like that. So in that situation, when we're going after our objective, and we have... According to the text, we have a long-term relationship with this person, okay? We love them, but we can't just think, okay, I'm going to pretend I love somebody. Because love inf is infused with hate and frustration and anger and all the fights we've had, etc. So, what you would do is go to a person in your life, and you would say, okay, who in my life do I need love and support from? Who doesn't validate myself as an actor? Who doesn't validate something about me? And it, generally, a substitution will always boil down to either a family mother, member, mother, father, brother, sister, uh, director you've worked with, a teacher, a best friend, um, an ex-girlfriend, an ex, anything like that. But again, because it, it, it's got, you've got to have this, the emotional need. You've got to have the, the, the need to have what the character needs from the other character in the scene, but to make it personal. So I could be having an argument with my wife. I could be using my dad because I need my dad never validated me, never said I was a great actor. So I could use that in the scene, and I would. It, so it doesn't have to follow a logical line. Just because I'm using my wife doesn't mean I'm going to look for a girlfriend or my current wife or whatever. What I'm going to be doing is who do I have the most at stake with? Who do I need that validation or that love and support from more than anybody else? And that's what I'm going. To work for. That's what I'm going to go after. So next we go into, right, inner objects. So inner objects are what I would be saying and hearing. It's really important to be hearing what a person would be saying to you and you would be saying to your substitution. So if I'm doing a scene with my wife and she doesn't support me, blah, 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 and, and it's about my job, as, as me, I don't really care about whatever job this guy has. But if, as soon as I make the construction company my acting career, and her supporting that, me talking to my dad about him supporting my acting career, then I'm alive. Then I'm going after something that's really important to me, and it's just as important to me as it is to the character. Therefore, I become the character when I have the same emotional needs as the character. So, an inner object then is any line of text which you say or you hear, you are putting in in your own mind what you would imagine you would be saying or hearing uh, from your substitution. So again, if we're talking about my, I've got a construction company and my wife doesn't support that, again, construction company, when I say those words, I would be thinking my acting career. When I hear, also, it's so important because most actors don't know how to hear. They're just sort of sitting there waiting for their line, right? But if you're hearing something, and if you're hearing, say, a parent or somebody who doesn't support you, and you're hearing them say, well, I don't think, you know, that this is important enough for you, inside you have all this stuff, all this emotional stuff going on based on the need for them, the need for them to validate you. And so when you're hearing, you're going to be hearing in pictures, because we hear in images. If, if I tell you my mother's sick, you don't picture my mother being sick. You go to somebody, you go to your own mother, or you go to the last time you saw somebody in a hospital. You create the images based on, based on what you're hearing. And so as actors, we need to put in those inner objects, those imagined uh, things that we're hearing, and they can be very specific. Again, if I'm talking, if I'm a lawyer and I'm talking talking about the Jones case, that could be um, about my father, that could be about somebody who's ill in my life, that could be whatever it is, but it's got to be something very specific in your life that means something to you, that has the same meaning, the same emotional meaning as the character. So that's why that's what's an inner object. That's why it's so important to write out on the text, uh, just below the text, what you would be saying in an imagined conversation and what you would be hearing. And you can find that that's very powerful. Even if you've never done this technique before, try just writing out underneath the line what you would be saying. And then say the line. And you'll find that it's so powerful because it's so real because you're talking to somebody that you've got a real, really strong emotional need with. Okay, so we've talked about objective. talked about obstacle. We've talked about substitution. 
substitution. We've talked about inner objects. Then what we have to layer on, because it's all about layering all of this stuff, and then letting it go. Ultimately, you've got to put in all your work and then let go. Just go after it and have fun and affect the other person. Change the other person. But along the way, we have on every line, it's really important to have an action, meaning it's like a mini objective. Okay, my overall objective is to get you to fall in love with me. Then an action on every line, the way I say hello, the way I say goodbye, the way I say let's, let's ask the waiter what's on the menu, everything is to get you to do something. So an action can be to get you to laugh. An action can be to get you to feel my pain. An action can be to get you to feel comfortable to open up to me. An action. So each line, every line of text has to have an action. Remember that. That is like the most important thing when you're going into an audition is to have a specific action on every line. Again, they don't have to be set, but you have to have your grab bag of actions and know, I need to change that person. I need to get that person to fall in love with me or I need to get that person to give me back my power. In order to do that, I'm going to have a series of actions. So I'm going to try to get you to laugh. I'm going to try to seduce you. I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to, try to um, get you to feel my pain. I'm going to try to calm me down. Again, everything I'm doing is based on that what I'm doing is going after my objective. So if I'm, if I'm going to um, have a fit, that's not because I feel like having a fit. It's because... If you calm me down, then you'll prove to me that you love me and I will get my objective, which is ultimately for you to love me. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you a audition that I put on tape for a Canadian film which booked me the part. And I want you to watch it. I want you to see the objective. I want you to see the actions I'm doing on every line. I want you to see if you can see the obstacles, etc. And watch that. And that's how we've incorporated all the things I've talked about. So enjoy that and we'll see you again soon. No, 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 no. There shall be no curse. For he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, well, let him be righteous Commander, still. Visitors. Achalal! So sorry. We're almost finished. Ah, Mr. Galileo. I call him Galileo because your partner loves to stare at the sun. Yes, violence and death fascinate him. One problem, Galileo went blind, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate your concerns. Can we get on with the passbooks? You are now free to travel the territories administrated by the Christian Falange Party. Thank you. Oh, and Galileo, remember that the most important rule for survival is don't take sides. Quite easy to remember, hmm? I reported on crimes committed by your men as I would any other man. You choose sides, you lose all protection. Don't choose sides. Ah! Mr. Galileo, come, come! This is the only way you could think of helping your people? More killing? I have no choice. Oh, you had a choice! Not to murder these people, children, old men, women. If they are Muslim, then they are nothing but dust. God, in your obsession to avenge, you've lost everything. You have no idea what a human being is. <laughs> words, simple, stupid words. Leave now, or you both die here. <laughs> 